this video, we are going to discuss whether a relation is considered a function. So let's first begin with defining what a function is. So a function is a relation in which every input has exactly only one output value. So another way to say that, if x is our input and y is our output, that every x has only one y. So let's go ahead and start with an example that does not involve any numbers. So if x is the states in the US and y is the NFL football teams, now I would never ask this question on a test because you'd need to know about football teams to be able to answer this, but it wants to know whether it's a function. So does every x, so state in the US, for example, California, have only one NFL football team. So if you know about football, you would know that this would not be a function because if X was California, it could have an output of the Rams. But California could also have the football team, the Raiders. So that's just one example. So even though Arizona has one football team, the Cardinals, this is not a function because we found a state that has more than one output. So we would put no because every state in the U.S. does not have only one football team. Okay, so now let's try one with some ordered pairs. So there's going to be numbers in the next example here. So go ahead and take a look and see if every x, so we know in an ordered pair, x is the first number, just like alphabetical order, x comes before y. So does every x, so when x is negative 2, it has one y value. When x is 0, it only has one y value. When x is 2, it only has one y value. It's okay that these are the same but you can't have these numbers be the same and have two different y values. So, so far this all looks good. So yes, it is a function because every x, so every first number in the ordered pair, has only one y. Okay, let's go ahead and try another example here. So it wants to know if it's a function. So we're going to look, does every x have one y? So when I look at this problem right here, I see that when x is 3, it has a y value of 2 and it has a y value of 5. So that means this is not a function. It's just like our example up here. If 3 is California, then it has two different teams. So it has two different numbers. So we would say not a function because every x does not have only one y value. We could leave it at that, or we could put, for example, when x is 3. It has two different y values. Um, we could also write every input does not have one, only one output. That would also work. All right, in the next example, we are given a Venn diagram. So when we're given a Venn diagram, this is always the input, so I'm going to think of it as x, and this is always the output. So I want to see, does every student have only one test grade? So in this class, you, don't, you aren't allowed retakes. So every person here only has one grade. 
So this would be a function. An example that would not is if retakes would be allowed, then a student could have more than one grade for their test. So in this case, yes, it is a function because every student has only one chapter five test grade. All right, last one here, we're given a table. So it wants to know whether it is a function. So does every X have only one Y? And the answer is yes. It's okay that they have the same number here, but each of these X's are different. So every X has only one Y. So this would be a function. Now let me show you what, what would make it not a function. So if I were to go put, let's say, a 1 here and then a 4 here, if I were to add that, then it would not be a function because when x is 1, it has a value of 3 and 4. So that wasn't the case in this problem, so it was a function.